Mike, you've had a few stops since you've uh, gotten here to Detroit. So what are the most valuable tools you can now put in your toolkit on field that you can bring here to the Motor City? Um, you know, I've, I've been fortunate to be around some some great DBs and uh, some great coaches. And, um, you know, it's, it's a lot of things I can, you know, list out on the table that I didn't know um, coming out of college. Um, you know, this game is a lot more mental um, than I thought it was. Uh, you know, obviously I've been through some injuries. So, uh, you know, the mental part of the game, is, is that part of my game has grown tremendously. Um, you know, and, and obviously techniques on the field, uh, you know, different things, uh, different ways to, you know, try to create turnovers to get the ball uh, back on defense. Um, I grew up playing offense, so, you know, whenever I can get my hands on the ball, it's, you know, special to me. I try to, you know, do what I can with it, uh, you know, to help my team. So, Why was Detroit the best landing spot for you right now? Um, you know, I thought it was a good opportunity for, uh, you know, my career at this point. And, um, you know, the, the culture that, you know, Coach Campbell is, you know, creating around here, um, uh, I do, I want to be a part of it. Um, and, you know, they, they embraced me and, uh, you know, it, it was an easy fit for me. So um, I'm excited to be here. We've heard the word culture a lot lately. So how, how quickly did the culture hit you once you stepped foot here and you could feel it? Um, you know, I got on the phone with uh, Coach Campbell and, uh, you know, Coach AG, and, uh, you know, right away, you know, those they, they liked me coming out of the draft, so um, we got a little bit of history there. And, um, you know, just the words that they spoke to me, uh, you know, it's, we have a young group over here. Um, I'll probably want to be one of the most experienced corners, which is crazy to me because I still feel like I'm young. Um, but, you know, the, the words that they were just spitting out to me, it just kind of stuck. And, um, you know, they believe in me and, you know, that's all I need for, you know, somebody to believe in me and I'll go to war with them. So um, I, I feel like the coaches is about to, you know, really change around here and I um, feel good about it. You led me right into it. It is a very young secondary. Yeah. So as a veteran, I know you said you don't totally feel like it, but how can you elevate that younger secondary? Um, just to try to, you know, share some of my experiences, um, you know, that I've been through uh, since I've been in the league. Um, just helping guys out, uh, not, you know, letting certain moments be too big for them. Uh, just letting them, reminding them that, you know, it's just a game we've been all playing since we were young. And, um, you know, just little things like that, it'll take guys a long way, uh, you know, as far as building confidence and just going out there and having fun. You mentioned it earlier, there were some things going into the NFL you didn't know coming out of college. Speaking of college, UCF. I mean, if you're a college football fan, everyone remembers that undefeated season that you were a part of. You're a very big piece to it. So um, first undefeated season in their, in their history. How can you bring that winning mindset here to Detroit? Um, you know, just to come in and work every day. That's the main thing. Um, just to come in and work and uh, believe in all the guys around you, um, you know, even things when things aren't going well, uh, you got to pick guys up and uh, just try to keep them on the right track. And, you know, like I said, come in and work and compete every day. That's the most important thing.